Alright everybody, welcome back to yet another brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new Fortnite creative mode. That's right, creative mode is coming to Fortnite. Guys, this is very exciting. This is going to be a whole new game mode you can select from the main screen. As you guys know right now, it's only Battle Royale and Save the World, but a whole new game mode called creative is coming. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys all about creative mode, everything you can do within creative mode, and also when you guys can start playing in creative mode as well so if you guys want to learn all about that then make sure to stick around and watch the video to the end because trust me guys I have a ton of new information regarding this new creative mode coming and everything you're able to do within it now you might be thinking to yourself well isn't creative mode kind of already in the game through playground like isn't playground pretty much Fortnite's creative mode but actually that is wrong Fortnite is making a whole new game mode called creative that you can select and go in and join with your friends up to four players and unlike playground there's like a limitless amount of stuff you can do you can build literally whatever towns you want like you can build your own town you can spawn any guns any items any equipment any vehicles anything like that you can just spawn right in front of you you're also able to fly too like you can literally fly in Fortnite and there's so much more stuff to go over so without further ado let's get right into it so creative mode was actually announced today December 5th one day before season 7 and my source for this video is this pretty good article that I found regarding everything you need to know for creative mode. The article starts off by saying, with season 7 starting on Thursday, the 6th of December, players are waiting to see what new features will be added into the game as Epic adds new things to Fortnite every season. A new mode, creative mode, has been leaked to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. YouTuber Lachlan, I think that's how you say it, but YouTuber Lachlan had released a video showcasing the new mode, but the video was deleted. Reddit user Moose Lick has uploaded the full video on reddit and can be seen below it is possible epic will be showcasing this new mode at the game awards which they're not actually they actually said they weren't but fortnite actually officially announced creative mode on twitter so this is completely 100 percent true but anyway once you have logged into the game you will see three options save the world battle royale and creative and this is what the loading screen will look like as you can see save the world battle royale those are the two modes we've been seeing forever but now there's going to be a third mode called creative down at the bottom below battle royale Royale. So creative is not like an LTM. It's like its actual own game mode, which is pretty cool. The article continues by saying when you click player once you are in creative mode, you will have the option to join friend servers or start a new server. You can have up to 16 players. So I was actually wrong. It's not four, but you can have up to 16 players in one server and the setting can be changed so that friends of friends can join the server. And here's an image kind of showcasing that aspect of creative. It says select a server. You can start your own server or you can join your friend server. It seems like a very simple and easy menu to navigate, which is good. You will then spawn in an arena where you can see different rocks, which have rifts. This is where you can join different servers with some showing as featured and the gold rift shows the server you have created. The featured maps will be trend maps or popular maps. And here's an image kind of showcasing that as well. As you can see, this is what one of the gold rifts looks like. Now, according to the article, this is what your own island will look like. So when you join into a server, you can enter different rifts for different different maps that people have created. Once you have interacted with the rift, you can choose from four different islands, which means you will be able to save four different maps. Yes, that's right. You can actually save what you created in creative mode. Now, I find that aspect of creative mode pretty cool. The fact that you can like edit and change the map however you want, and then you can save it and then come back to it later. I think that's a pretty cool additive that Fortnite added into creative mode. There are different options you can choose in the creative mode with one of them being able to fly. So like I was saying before you can actually fly in Fortnite. here's an image kind of showcasing that there's gonna be like a little reminder kind of in the bottom left of your screen telling you how to fly as you can see on pc it looks like you double tap space to fly i'm assuming on console it's gonna be like double tapping x for ps4 and maybe like a for xbox or something like that but what's most important is that you can actually fly in creative mode that is insane and this next tidbit i kind of found interesting the player can also use a phone to change selected tiles and here's an image kind of showcasing that now I'm not even sure like what they mean by like editing tiles but it looks like we're getting a whole new item like a phone almost in creative and apparently with this phone you can change certain tiles on the map I think this is just kind of a way to edit the map to your liking so that's pretty cool next you can pick different buildings and props from the menu the menu has five different tabs prefabs devices weapons consumables and chests so this is what I was talking about when it comes to spawning any sort of item you want you can literally choose 
use from pre-made buildings, devices, which I believe are like vehicles and, you know, jump pads and other items like that. Weapons, you can spawn any weapon in the game. Consumables, obviously you guys know what those are. And also chests, you can spawn any of those in creative mode. Like you have no limit to what you can spawn in creative mode. You can do whatever you want and you can build whatever kind of map you want. And that's what I think is the coolest about creative mode. You can design it however you want. You can put whatever structures wherever. You can spawn all of the consumables in the game, any weapon. Honestly, like I think that aspect of creative mode is so cool. Next, once you have selected an item, this will show up in your inventory and you can throw it essentially like a port of fort to place it where you want. So like when you select an item from that menu that we saw previously, it'll spawn in your menu, but when you have it out, it appears as a port of fort and when you throw it, it'll spawn whatever you have selected. So that's how you're going to be able to spawn whatever structures, whatever buildings you want on the map. And on top of all that, there are different modes you can choose from in game. I'll cover all of the modes that you can choose from here in a second, but here's kind of what that menu looks like. As you can see at the top, it says my island. And if you go to game, you can choose whatever game mode. You can choose different teams, the time limit, and also a spawn location as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys every single option you can choose from this in-game menu. So first for game modes, you can choose from free for all, deathmatch, and free play. Now I believe they're going to be adding more. I've seen on Twitter that Fortnite is going to add new game modes into creative mode. So these aren't the only three you can choose from, but we do know that free for all, deathmatch, and free play are all going to be within creative mode. Next teams, you could choose free for all or cooperative, which I think is just going to be like a team versus another team. Like you can choose what team you want to be on. For time limit, you can have no time limit, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 20 minutes. For spawn location, you can spawn at spawn pads, team spawn pads, or the sky. So you can choose to like parachute in if you want to do it like that. But also it looks like spawn pads are going to be a thing in creative mode. So I believe how that's going to work is that you can just place a spawn pad wherever. And when you die, you're going to spawn at that spawn pad, which makes it like 50 times times easier to respawn on the map rather than having to like glide her down and you know like wait for all that time. For starting health it looks like you can only choose from full health which does make sense. I mean I don't know why you would want to spawn with less health. Starting shields you can start with empty shields and I believe they're also going to add an option where you can spawn with full shield. I don't see why they wouldn't. Next you can have the option to spawn infinite ammo. Yes he can have infinite ammo in this new game mode which once again makes it like a thousand times easier to have whatever guns you want and to be able to use those guns guns without having to go like loot for ammo and all that. You can literally just set it to spawn with infinite ammo, which I think is pretty cool. Same with resources. You can have infinite resources as well. Next, pickaxe building damage. You can have it as the default, like obviously how it works in game already, but also I think this setting is really cool. You can set it to an instant, which I believe means that when you hit a building, it's just going to completely go away with one hit. So I guess that makes it easier to clear out certain stuff if you want to do that. Next, drop items when eliminated. We've seen that in playground mode you can toggle that on and off also with fall damage for gravity it looks like you can only choose from normal but i believe they're gonna add more gravity settings like i don't see why they wouldn't they're different gravity settings in playgrounds so i definitely think they're gonna add those same gravity settings into creative mode as well player names and location you can set that to team only or you can turn that off too so say if you're trying to have like team one versus team two like a battle between your friends or something like that you can toggle it so that you don't see the other team's name so i think that's pretty cool it makes it a lot more fun to fight against your friends respawn height now i'm not sure exactly what that means like maybe when you respawn and you parachute from the sky you can set it to like the normal height or maybe there's going to be like different heights you can choose from i don't know next down but not out or otherwise known as being knocked as you guys know if you guys are playing duos or squads or any sort of team game mode when you lose all your health and shield you get knocked and you start crawling around i believe this is a setting to toggle that on and off you can have it on so like when you do get shot you do get knocked down or if you want to have that off when you do get shot and killed, you'll just instantly die and you won't be knocked. So I guess that's just another small setting you can change to your liking. And finally, island edit permission, which basically means that for your island, you can set it to where you can only edit or also you can toggle it so that everyone can edit the map as well. So that is pretty much, so that is everything you can do within creative mode, guys. I am so excited for this. I forgot to mention creative mode does drop on December 13th for everyone, but if you guys want to get early access and play creative mode day one if you guys buy the season seven battle pass you'll have access to creative mode early for battle pass holders you can play creative mode early from december 6th to december 13th and on the 13th it's going to be available for everyone so if you guys want to play creative mode early then i suggest you guys go out and buy the season seven battle pass like i am like honestly i was going to buy
buy the battle pass either way but the fact that we're getting creative mode early just makes me want to buy it even more so but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video covering the new creative mode coming to fortnite if you guys did happen to enjoy this video please make sure to go down and leave this video a like i do appreciate any support i get on my videos so if you guys did happen to enjoy this video then feel free to go down and leave this video a like comment down below let me know your thoughts and opinions on the new creative game mode in fortnite are you guys excited for creative mode to be coming with season 7 make sure to let me know down in the comments below check out my last video if you have not already there's going to be a link to it in the description as well as at the end of this video so make sure to go watch that video leave that video a like a comment all the above and lastly most importantly please make sure to go down and subscribe to my youtube channel and when you do subscribe turn on my post notifications so you're notified every single time i post a youtube video and yeah that's been it hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll talk to you guys next time Peace.